You're going to buy one of these. Make sure you have like a little old car, like a Nissan or a Honda Core, because this car will kill you when it comes to gas. It will kill you. I'm telling you, 1500 Cardinal, 300 insurance. And another, let's say four or $500 in gas, you add it up and let me know how much it came up to be. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with another video. As you can see, we in the cat. Oh my gosh, she's so motherfucking pretty. Look at the motherfucking seats with the demonic red seat belts. All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with another video. Today, you guys, we're going to talk about, can you afford one of these cars in 2023? That's a great question, right? I decided to make this video and talk to you guys about that. Can you really afford a Hellcat in 2023. Now, before I start this video, if you at mom house, I'm not talking to you. If you are in your parents' phone plan, I'm not talking to you. You know, if you still living at home with mommy and daddy, I'm not talking to you. This is for the grown folks, for the folks that got real responsibilities. That's who I'm talking to. For the ones that got to pay mortgage, got to pay water bill, gas bill, electricity, phone bill, internet bill, all of that. For the people that got real responsibilities, I'm talking to them folks. Can you afford one of these in 2023? Last call too. Last call. I got to wipe that down, man. Who the hell put their hands on that shit, man? Everybody, see, I be letting people see the car, bro. They want to put their hands all in the car, bro. Ah, damn, they be, they be want to feel the Hellcat, bro. Look at this shit. I got to wipe that. I let some people look at the car and shit at the shop when I took it the other day. Man, do, do open the sunroof. It's 100 degrees outside. I'm like, man, what the hell, bro? He left the sunroof open. Hot as hell in the inside. I'm like, bro, what the hell? I let you see the car. I ain't told you to, you know, to touch shit. Don't touch my car, bro. Don't touch my shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't feel like that? Do y'all be feeling like that? Like, yo, don't touch my car, bro. You can look, but don't touch my car, bro. Anyways, I gotta go wipe that shit down when I get home. Look at that. Fingerprints all over that motherfucker. Man, stop touching my car. They feeling all in the car. Look at this shit, bro. Damn. Why they feeling on you like that? They really feeling you, huh? They really feeling you. They be hating, but they be feeling you like a motherfucker. People on the internet be hating on this car, but they really, when they see it in person, they be like, oh, bro, that shit hard, bro. That shit clean. I'm like, man, the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with people these days. But anyways, can you afford a Hellcat in 2023? That's a great, great, great question, man. Damn, I was supposed to make that U-turn. Go ahead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And that wine would never get old. Can you afford this car with everything being so high right now, you guys? Inflation has hit its peak, guys. But who cares? Who cares about inflation? Fuck inflation. You know, we finna chase this goddamn paper because we hustlers like that. You feel me? We hustlers like that. Can you afford a Hellcat in 2023? The question is, can you afford the cart notes? <laughs> can you afford the insurance? Can you afford the gas that these cars require? <laughs> if you did not know, you know now. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know. You cannot pump anything else but premium gas in these cars. And these cars, when it comes to gas, will drain your pocket. 
These cars are not cheap. I'm going to let you know that right now. I'm going to say it one more time. They are not cheap. You are going to be paying anywhere from fourteen to fifteen to sixteen, maybe seventeen hundred dollars for a Hellcat. That nigga's tripping. Easily, easily, plus insurance, plus gas. Yeah, it's gonna add up. You're looking about twenty three hundred, maybe twenty four hundred dollars. What? Two thousand four hundred dollars a month for a Hellcat. Now the question is, can you afford it? I had to make a quick stop real quick. So yeah, can you afford one of these? Man, shit. You can. You gotta be making anywhere from $2,000 and $3,000 a week. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm, 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 I'm making this video. I'm making this video, but I'm gonna keep it real. You're gonna have to be making anywhere from two grand to three thousand dollars a week. Ah. These cars, when it comes to guys like we all know, terrible, terrible. Can you afford it? Yes, you can afford it. You just gotta, you just gotta grind, you guys. You gotta work hard. Twenty-five, thirty dollars an hour would not get you this car. And I'm sorry to tell you, it will get you a scat pack, a wide body scat. You know. It will get you that. We got the sunroof. Let me pop this sunroof real quick. Man, this thing is gorgeous, bro. This car is beautiful. Oh, God. But anyways, man, these cars are expensive. I, I, I just, I don't know what else to tell you. They really are. Insurance, insurance can run you anywhere from $200 to $300 just for this car. Just for this car, anywhere from two hundred to three hundred dollars. That's a lot of money on insurance. But insurance know these cars are a liability. A lot of people crash them; they get stolen so much. And hey, what can you do? You know, you're gonna have to pay. If you want a Hellcat, you're gonna have to spend that money. We made a stop. That way, we can finish up the video here. But. Like I was telling you guys, you can afford this car. Now, it's gonna take a whole lot. It's gonna take a lot of hard work, dedication. It's gonna take some grind, you guys. It's not easy. Affording one of these is not easy. $1,500, paying $1,500 a month is a lot of money to a lot of you guys. You know, you got people out here in the real world that make that money in a day, in two days, you know? So to those people, this shit is easy. But it's not easy at the same time. They work their ass off to get to where they at. Same as you. You can work your ass off, you guys, and accomplish your goals and accomplish your dreams. Don't sit here and watch this video and not accomplish your dream. I'm, I'm trying to motivate you. I'm trying to push you to go get it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this car right here is a $100,000 car, you guys. To be in a position to afford a $100,000 car, you have to do more than what you're doing right now go get it go start that business that you've been planning on starting if you don't start now you will never start you guys because the right time will never get there can you afford it yes you can afford it you got to be making anywhere from two thousand to three thousand dollars a week you guys a week you know you got to pay this car you got to pay insurance you got to you know spend money on gas you got to pay your rent your mortgage your water bill your light bill your internet bill all that stuff and that adds up just to just to maintain this car is going to be anywhere from two thousand to two thousand three hundred dollars a month a month that's a lot of goddamn money bro that's a lot of money to me i'm good <laughs> you know i'm blessed you guys i work very hard and YouTube pay for it. A lot of people don't understand why us YouTubers buy these cars. We make money off cars. Car channels make money. If you are monetized, you are going to make money off these cars. So don't worry about those cars channels, man. Them people are getting paid for making these type of content. But like... YouTube helps me pay for this car too, guys. So that's why for me was. An investment, you know, for a lot of you guys, it's not. 
you know but this car is not meant to daily drive it if you're gonna buy one of these make sure you have like a little old car like a nissan or a honda core because this car will kill you when it comes to gas it will kill you i'm telling you this car look 1500 cardinal 300 insurance and another let's say four or five hundred dollars in gas you add it up and let me know how much it came up to be that's a lot of money but you can afford it you can do it this is not impossible this is very possible you can own one of these and the reason why i'm making this video is a lot of people that sit in my chair at the barbershop they be telling me ali i want a scat pack ali i want a hellcat alice this alice that alice how can you do it how can i get a scat pack oh alice how can i i get a hellcat well i don't know go get you a pressure washer Go get you some chemicals. Pressure wash somebody outside their driveway. I don't know. Get you a lawnmower. You know, when you're not working your nine to five, go do a, go do a, a side hustle. You know, so cut somebody's grass. Organize somebody's garage. You know what I'm saying? Pick up somebody's trash. You got to be a hustler, you guys. In order to afford one of these, in order to afford a Z01, a Mustang GT500, whatever it is. I'm not just talking about these cars. You have to go get it. It's impossible to afford your dream car without ambition. It's impossible. You have to be hungry, you know? If you are not working... Think about what makes money, what can make you money outside of your regular job. If you are working a nine to five, you got to think about a side hustle, something that will make you money when you're not working, something that you can, you know, bring some extra cash when you're not on the clock. I know a lot of people, guys, that work two jobs and got one of these, but they want it. They want it that bad. They want this car that bad. I know people that are trying to buy a house and they're working two jobs because they're saving money to put down on the house so they can buy their dream home. I know people that are working two jobs right now as we speak because they're trying to save money to send it back home so they can build their dream home back home in Mexico, Honduras, El Salvador. Yes, you got people like that. I'm not just talking about, you know, buying a car. I'm talking about in general. You have to grind. You have to work your ass off in order to accomplish your goal. You guys like to sit here and watch these YouTubers live their dreams and accomplish all their goals. And you see these YouTubers buying cars at the cars and buying houses and, and living this lavish life. But you guys do not understand that these YouTubers are hard workers. They work hard as fuck, bro. They constantly thinking about thumbnails. They thinking about titles. They thinking about ideas on how to make videos. It's not easy, you guys. You got to just go get it. $20, $25, $30 an hour is not going to cut it. Making anywhere from five to $600 a day, a day. You can afford this car plus more, plus more. You know? But you gotta, you gotta go get it, you guys. You gotta willing, you gotta be willing to do whatever it takes. You got to have that mentality of whatever it takes. Look at them motherfucking wheels, man. A lot of people don't like these wheels. I don't give a damn. These motherfuckers is hard, bro. The cars stand out with these wheels, bro. Black wheels for some reason do not stand out to me, bro.